home. My name is Arissa. I am 27 years old. I am married. I've been married for almost seven years. My husband is Marcus. He is a wind turbine technician and a telecom inspector. Basically, that just means that he climbs towers for a living. A very dangerous job, but it does allow me to be home full time with our children and also be able to homeschool. So we have six kids. Their names are Armand, who's nine, Darian, who's eight, Major, who's six, Sally, who's four, Tracy, who's three, and Sarah, who's eight months. Every single one of them are homeschooled, which means that they're home full time. When it comes to my husband's line of work, it does require that he travels a lot, which means that I am home holding down the fort while he's out there bringing home the bacon. And since I am home a lot, I have had to revamp my style in homemaking. Reason being is because I have been a homemaker for, like I said, almost seven years. And after the fifth year of doing the same thing, I found myself growing tired. I found myself growing weak and it was extremely hard to get out of bed and do the same thing over and over again. I fell out of love with homemaking because of the mundane routines. When it comes to us homemakers, we need a lot of support. We need a lot of encouragement. We need to understand that we are doing something that's benefiting the whole household and that it doesn't just stop at, I got this kid fed today. I did laundry today. I gave them a bath today. It doesn't just end there. It needs to be looked at as a skill, a trade, a craft, a hobby. We need to bring back that love and passion for something that was so cherished back then but because of society we are told that homemakers are lazy couch potatoes that we don't bring enough to the table but you and i know that we do with this series i am going to show you the knowledge that i've acquired throughout my years as a homemaker when it comes to homemaking we'll cover things like cooking of course cleaning parenting and it will also include the little tidbits that people tend to forget about that we do and how to perfect those things. Let's try to perfect our craft. It is all about the journey and I hope that you will do this journey with me. I hope that you will continue to support me and watch my videos. I appreciate you for watching and I hope to hear from you guys soon. Let me know whatever it is that you want me to cover. I am open to ideas. If you want to chat, let's just chat. If you have a question, ask me a question. If it's something that you want to learn about and I may know it or I can find you the best resource to help you out with it, I'm your girl. I'm hoping that this video series is going to also motivate me to do better because I know that even while I'm speaking to you guys, I have a lot of areas that I could tighten up and just do more in. You can follow me on YouTube and you can also follow me on Facebook. Now, please be understanding that I haven't done much with my YouTube yet. This is all very brand new. Just be patient. I'm going to get the information and videos and all that good stuff out to you guys as soon as I can. As much as I would love to promise you a certain amount of videos, I can't do that currently. I have a lot of kids. We have a lot of kids. And our regular routines don't change because they come first. My home comes first. If I can't put time into them, then I shouldn't be putting time into this. This is Lady Bunny at Home. I love you.